Oh my god! Look at us! They're looking at us, dude. Oh, snow, snow. This one's huge! Oh. It is in the 50s in May! Oh. What is going on? I play This would be a little bit tight. So you got the we got the tent tied up to this because the tent is just getting ripped by this 20 mile an hour wind. Got our battery and chargers over there. Awesome little setup. Pan, cooking supplies, gasoline. And big old shark popper just in case something goes crazy. Yeah, we just uh, set up camp over here on the island, and we're looking around a little bit, trying to find a bite, trying to figure out what's going on. A little yozuri, try to find something. Just caught a couple ladyfish, so I didn't really turn the camera on yet, because uh, I didn't really catch anything that crazy. But that's a snook. Good one to start out with. Ooh. There he goes. Dolphins are going nuts right there. Got him. Is that a snook? It only came up once. That might be a snook, dude. <laughs> We're fishing towards the bridge now. Dude, I. Ooh, it's a trout, bro. Yes, and that was like a big ass like Kobe or something. There's something big underneath it. Stingrays, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's all kinds of stuff on this flat right now. There's all kinds of stuff. Oh, it's a bunch of ladyfish. Huh. Oh my god. Oh, it's dolphins. Jesus Christ! Oh! Look at us! They're looking at us, dude. What the heck? I got that on video. Dude, they literally came right up to the boat looking at us, dude. They're like, what are they doing? Well, you just looking to see what you can do. That's insane. I've never seen a dolphin ask to look at me. He turned his... Set up, head on the side. Look down the water, dude. They always do that. It's hilarious. I need to hit the troll motor. Yeah, literally, we weren't even didn't have a ladyfish hooked on or anything, and they just all came right up to us. You're not going to hook a dolphin. Oh, 
Big snook, big snook, big snook. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Got him, got him, got him, got him. He's coming towards me. Decent snook. What the freak, dude? Hit it so much harder than I thought he was. It's a little 20 inch. Right? I thought it was way bigger than that. Dude. This light rod is like I'm not used to it. <laughs> 15 pound or 10 pound braid though. It's a snook. I can tell though it's a snook the way it's fighting. It's fought hard for that size. I thought it was way bigger. <laughs> Back. Whew. I just caught a baby snook. I thought it was a ladyfish. Dude, I should put this one in my fish tank. Nice little guy. Totally thought he was a ladyfish though. This one bait's been pretty killer so far. Keep you updated. I'm gonna retie this leader. But I think there's more, honestly. I don't see why there wouldn't be more. Probably some bigger ones. Brown some bait. All right, we're back to the islands. I don't know who caught that big old snapper. Looks like a mutton. That's awesome though. Somebody played that. It would be sick to think that somebody hooked that off the jig under this bridge. That'd be cool. I don't know. And this is the campsite. Yeah, bro. This is the campsite. We're on Nikki B's secret island. There's the crib. Uh, just getting the camp right going now. over here. We're bumping some fat sky right now. But it's not bad. We got, you know, we got the tent set up. Um, my sleeping bag's hanging to dry because somebody decided to dump it in the ramp as soon as we got here. <laughs> yeah, we got this little beach going on here. What the hell is this? It's a map of a golf course. We got this nice little beach right here. We actually hooked some decent sized bull sharks here last time. Things and evenings we were getting a lot of big bull sharks hooked up, but we weren't really prepared for the gear we got. We were using those baits as uh, snook baits. So right now I'm just kind of looking around. I hooked a really big snook right in this area before. Just trying to look around and see if we can spot any. Anyways guys, either way it's going to be a crazy adventure. We're in it for two nights. We're going to be cooking up fresh fish, burgers, hot dogs. Just having a good old time. And we're just doing it super primitive. The ramp's right there obviously if you wanted to leave. But we're going to try to survive on some fish. Do some primitive camping. And we're going to do it on the flats. Little fan, sun's going down. We've got a low of 50, what, 56, 59, something like that. Ridiculously oh, yeah. cold. Worst weather to fish, but um, we're sticking it out. Hopefully, we get a better bite tomorrow when it's warm. All right, guys, it's May. It's morning. I'm just using the Missouri. I'm just gonna try to top water on. But we got up and it's like in the 60s and it's howling. So, not really sure what the game plan is yet for today. Oh, some bait back there.
I just scared the whole school. What you tripping out about, Nick? Chasing it. It's cold, dude. I don't know about this. I haven't seen anything destroy like baits. Oh, it's enough, it's enough. Definitely a bigger cameo. one back there. Little cameo right there. That was sick. Fourth game. Great. Fourth game. Oh. All the way. I got one. All right. One more. Go through here as slow as humanly possible. Though. It's like we saw two slot sized fish or over slots right in this area. He got it. Got yeah, he's got it. Oh, broke me off instantly, dude. <laughs> On the 60. <laughs> Holy <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh. What the <laughs> did I do? You got him, dude. He took off. Can you guys help me get him in, like, get him in? Yeah. You got that, dude. <laughs> It's still on. It's not ready yet. It's got some fight in them. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? What kind of fuck is that? I'm not really sure. I think he's a um, little baby sandbar. Think so? Maybe. It Can looks I get like a photo it. of him or no? Well, if you want to, you can do it now. Can you hold the rod? Maybe a bull shark though. It looks like Water a bull shark. shark dude. Hey. Yeah, I think it might be a bull shark. That's awesome. Man. Maybe a reef shark or I'm not really too familiar. It's definitely not a black tip though. It could just be a normal spinner. Watch out. I'll bite you. Look right in the corner of the mouth though. It's pretty good. Oh, nice. I caught the first 
Oh my god, that was mine. That's mine. Oh my god. Did you hear that? Yeah. You missed it though. It wasn't that big, but... Dude. Put a hog leg on. Nice one, dude. It's a really nice one. Hell yes. Hell yes. Right. It's the biggest one on the trip, dude. Right there. I'm the dead one. I'm the dead one, dude. That was a sketchy ass flip, though. Yeah. Biggest one of the trip so far for me. Probably like 26, 27, almost on slot. But even if he was, that's like a little small for a slot. I don't think I would keep him. That's a nice one. Going back in the water. Hog leg so many times. It wasn't really hog leg, but decent size. Man. What is going on, guys? I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, most of my stuff is more up to date than that, but I do have plenty of footage from this past year that is awesome. And even a restoration video for the rest of this boat, which is going to be coming up very soon. If you guys want to make sure to check out Chase Baits USA, they sell the flick prawns, swim baits, and all kinds of other super ultra realistic saltwater and freshwater lures on the market today that you see me using in most of my videos, guys. So make sure to check them out. I'll have a link in the description below. And if you want to purchase a very special product called the Go Fish Cam, it is a camera that you tie to your fishing line and cast out to get footage of your bites. It is the craziest camera I've ever seen in my life, guys. They're also an awesome sponsor of mine, so make sure I'll throw a link in the description below for the GoFish Cam as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one, guys.